In this video, you'll learn how to rename a batch of images in Adobe Bridge. Now, you might not have heard of Adobe Bridge before, so let me briefly explain what it is. Adobe Bridge is an easy-to-use file manager that allows you to organize, browse, locate, and view all of your project files. It's really the control center for all the applications in the Adobe Creative Suite because it's quickly accessed from within any Creative Suite application making it easy to share your media assets between all of your favorite Adobe applications. You can quickly access Adobe Bridge from within Photoshop by clicking the Launch Bridge icon in the application bar at the top of your screen. The photos we're looking at here were taken by a friend of mine who just got back from a vacation in Hamburg. I've loaded them onto my computer from his digital camera and now I'd like to change the names of the files. Now rather than sticking with the names that the camera gave the files, I'm going to rename this entire batch of photos so that I can identify them easier later on. It's really important to do this because in a few years, I'll probably forget where all these images came from. All right, to rename a group of images, you'll first need to select all of the images that you want to rename. I'm going to go ahead and press Command A or Control A on the PC to select all of the files. And now that they're all selected, I'll go to the Tools menu and choose Batch Rename. This dialog box is divided into four sections. Destination folder, new file names, options, and preview. For destination folder, select whether to place the renamed files in the same folder, move them to another folder, or place a copy of them in another folder. Here in the new file name section is where you designate the new name you want to append to all of your images. Now before I go ahead and type in the name that I want to use, I'd like to first take your attention down to the preview section. Here you can see the current file name of the images the way they are now and what the new file name will be when you click rename. Watch what happens in the preview section as I type in a new name for these files. Since these images were all taken in Hamburg, I'll go ahead and type in Hamburg. Now it's important to understand that if I were to click rename right now, all of the images would have the same name Hamburg applied to them and we don't want that. So what I really need to do is go over here and click the plus sign to add another element to the file name. I don't really want to add more text to the file name. What I really want to do is choose sequence number from this menu. By using the sequence number option, all of the files will be numbered consecutively. The number here is the number that your files will start numbering from. Now if you're going to be numbering less than 100 files, the three digits option will work well for you. If you're going to be numbering more than 100 files but less than 1,000 files, then choose the four digits option. All right, let's take a look at these last couple of options. Select Preserve Current File Name in XMP Metadata to retain the original file name in the metadata. And for compatibility, select the operating systems with which you want renamed files to be compatible. Notice the current operating system is selected by default, so you can't deselect it, but you can definitely add compatibility for Windows and Unix if you like. All right, I'll go ahead and choose Rename. And Adobe Bridge has just renamed all of those files. Now it wasn't that fast. I'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom so you can see them all. Now all you have to do when you'd like to open up an image in the Photoshop is simply double-click one of the images and you can get to work with editing it. 